This video is a demonstration of TCP reset attack. In this video, we will be using HPing to forge a TCP reset packet which should be sent to tear up a SSH connection. SSH will be having TCP backend and we will use Wireshark to analyze various uh, parameters for HPing. So let's start with Wireshark. Wireshark is a network analyzer it's used to capture packets and analyze various metadata information now we'll be starting the capturing of packets Uh, here you can see the display filter option we'll be uh, discussing about it later now so for the TCP connection we'll be using SSH connection now you can see my IP address yeah so I'll be connecting to uh, connecting to another laptop using an SSH connection All right. Now we have connected to the SSH server. Uh, let's just check it again. Yeah, that's fine. Now we will be forging a HPing reset packet. Now for that we need to uh, check the last packet that the server uh, that we sent to the server. So if we check the details like uh, port number, destination, IP address etc okay now we will be using the uh, display uh, the filter for Wireshark filter to uh, get the get all packets that are sent from the SSH server or the SSH client Yeah, now we have the uh, one shot filter ready. Now we will just apply the filter, all the packets uh, that are uh, that follow this uh, filter uh, are displayed. We will check the last packet we sent. So that's the next sequence number that uh, we'll be using. No, uh, yeah, this packet. So that will be the next uh, sequence number we will be using. Now let's just use that to forge a TCP reset packet using HP. Now HPing 3. So uh, we will be giving the destination address. This would be the destination address. Now we have to give the destination port number which is the SSH uh, standard port number. Now the source port would be uh, present in the packet, which uh, will enter using Wireshare. Now we have the sequence number to enter. So before that, we will give the reset flag, which is minus R. Now for M, M flag is for the sequence number. 
so we have the sequence number of the last packet we sent. Uh, we can calculate the next sequence number. Those are same because the length of the last packet we have sent is zero. So let's send another sequence number. Uh, lastly, we will enter minus C1. That's for a, that's uh, meaning we will send a single packet. Now we have sent the packet. Now, if we check the wire shaft, we can see that there's a reset packet. If you try to do the SSH connection, we have broken pipe. So the TCP connection is broken. Yeah, so that's that's a reset uh, that is sent back from the server. Thank you.